Okay, we want to do these two problems. If z equals 1 minus 2i and w equals 3 minus 4i, find z times, okay, now we have a w with a bar atop. So we have to know what this notation means. That notation actually means the conjugate of w. So if w is equal to 3 minus 4i, a conjugate would be the same numbers except the only thing that we're going to change is the middle sign. So that would be 3 plus 4i. You don't change the first one at all. You don't do anything with the three. All you're doing is you're changing the sign that's in between those. So if it's minus, it's plus. If it was originally plus, then you would change it back to a minus. So in this case, this is actually what they want us to use. So I'm multiplying these together. So z is going to be 1 minus 2i. And then the w bar, or conjugate of w, is going to be 3 plus 4i. So now we have another problem that we have to multiply out. We're going to multiply it again the same as we would do normal foiling if we had x's. Do the first terms, that's going to be 3. Do the outer, which is going to be uh, 4i. Inner terms, negative 6i. And then finally we do negative 2 times 4, negative 8. Don't forget the square on that one. Now we're going to simplify terms. We get 3. This 4 minus 6 is negative 2i. And whenever we have a problem that has i squared in it, anytime you see i squared, we want to replace it with negative 1. That way we can further simplify this and put it in proper standard form, which is usually what they asked us to write this out as. Uh, this gives us 3. Negative, negative is 3. That's really a plus 8. So that'll give us 11. And then I have minus 2i, which there's nothing else to do with that one. That would be proper standard form for the first one. So this would be z times w bar would be this, 11 minus 2i. Now let's do this one. Simplify and write in standard form. Okay, so I got some square roots that are going on here. And I know that this, the first one, the square root of 4, I can automatically just change that into a 2. But now we have to look at this one and see how we can break that down. Well, what that means, the square root of 16, I can actually rewrite that as 16 times negative 1 on the inside. I can break this up further, and I can write square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. Well, square root of 16, that's going to break down into 4. The square root of negative 1, that turns into an i. So the square root of negative 16 is going to turn into 4i, so therefore this would be the proper standard form, 2 minus 4i. So the shortcut way of doing that is you just, look at, you just ignore the minus sign, and so I know square root of 16 is going to give me a 4, but then because I got a, a, a negative sign underneath the square root, that tells me that I'm going to have an extra i for my answer. So anytime you have a square root of a negative number, we're going to turn it into an i.